Wow, this is a must-attend event for us. We've been here three years now, mm -hmm. and uh, it's awesome. We go to the same seminars. We love it. We get all kinds of great information. Our favorite's been the Internet safety, and they've taught us so much. For the last five years, White Bear Lake Police have been reaching out to help district parents help their kids. Just, it's a whole new world. It's a lot different from when I was a 15-year-old. Um, so I just want to be in up on the, the latest and the greatest. Technology plays an overwhelming role in the lives of American teenagers, with more than 70% of teens using more than one social media site. That has parents and police concerned. You know, they're already beyond my technological skills. And I, I used to think I was savvy, but I have a lot to learn, and the, the issues are just so different with a fast-paced world. It's much faster, I think. The demands are higher than when I was growing up, and so the mental health piece is a big thing, too, that I want to hear what the police department's perspective is on that, too. Police talked about drug trends and internet safety. I'll smoke a cigarette, I'll smoke marijuana, maybe I'll smoke Matthew as they have in the past, but this year they added mental health support and human trafficking topics. Here are some of the arrests that we've had in Washington County, and there's a couple that I'll just touch on briefly. Former Minneapolis police officer Jerry Walrick came out of retirement to work with the Washington County Attorney's Office, tackling the growing problem of human trafficking. This young lady that Chris was talking about that they recovered. A serious problem that impacts all socioeconomic backgrounds. The FBI identifies Minnesota as one of 13 U.S. cities with the highest rate of child prostitution. While Rick encourages parents to be informed on the issues and to communicate with their kids. Being a father with two daughters, uh, you need to talk to your kids. And you can't be afraid to, to look at their phones every once in a while and, and know what's going on in their life. What kind of friends they're hanging around in and everything else. That's very important. It's another way police are reaching out to residents who are taking advantage of the opportunity. Oh, it's wonderful. You know, we love the relationship with the police officers um, and then the in-school officers talked at this event and, you know, I like the rapport that he has with the kids and the trust and even the things that he brings. So, no, it's it's a very good force and we see them around too, you know. They're not just there. We don't just see them with their lights on. We see them driving around. We see them at different events. We see them at Market Fest. We see them at games. So, it's, it's a very comforting presence.